What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're talking to you about Jeepers Creepers 4 in this video here again today. Jeepers Creepers Reborn. Now I know again tickets are on sale. Many of you bought your tickets. Many of you are excited and that's fine to be excited. And many of you are looking forward to the review that you'll have from me on the same night. Very first night September 19th when you come home from the theater. If you're going to the 7 p.m. Eastern showing. I'm predicting I'll probably have mine up around... 9 30 10 o'clock that same night for any of you who are going to stay up for the review i'm sure many people might have theirs up before me anyway but jumping into what i want to talk about as you see on your thumbnail and in the video title we're going to talk about trisha jenner for one final time now this character is someone who i know many of you would say we haven't really seen or learned a lot about since the very original movie all those years ago going on 21 years ago in that original movie jeepers creepers back in 2001 when she's when G gina phillips starred in the role alongside justin long as her on-screen brother Derry jenner and they were stalked by this uh creature who we of course thought to be a man some of us anyway thought to be a man initially found out it wasn't a man and there's all this other demonic mythology that unfolded in that movie so this character trisha jenner i believe at one point we're just three things we have at one point, I believe she was supposed to be in Jeepers Creepers 2. And I think I also have a separate video about that I did a few years ago. She was supposed to be in Jeepers Creepers 2, where it was going to be her and Giselle. And they were going to be this other main kind of subplot going, working off of the other plot with the bus. That ultimately then got switched into what we know exists as Jeepers Creepers 2. Those two are now Jack Taggart and Jack Jr., those roles you see though apparently that was supposed to be trisha and giselle going after the creeper for whatever reason uh, and then they were going to somehow i guess get involved with helping these kids on the bus but i think there's also talk that gina gina turned it down don't quote me on that it might be something else that went on but it is out there that she was supposed to be in the original film of jeepers creepers 2 but ultimately that got reworked into what we now know exists as the final copy and what is canon with jack jr and jack senior hunting the creeper after the creeper takes his son at the start of the second movie in that cornfield so that was our first missed opportunity at seeing trisha jenner again and learning more about this character and her grief process over Derry. We know she's completely distraught over it by the end of the first movie, and we do get that cameo that I'm about to jump into. The most recent thing that had happened was she did appear at the very end of Jeepers Creepers 3 that was directed by the original director, but that was supposed to branch into a fourth movie that we know is not happening anymore because we have a completely reimagined idea that's still tied to what has happened in the past, but kind of doing its own thing now at this point for the most part, many people think. So, originally outside of that where she appeared at the end of Jeepers Creepers 3 vowing revenge and a call to action related to getting justice for her brother Derry saying she'd be ready having all these newspaper clippings kind of showing that she's been studying and researching this thing and just prepping for its inevitable reawakening all these years later or at least believing in the mythos because she won't know until it's actually awakened uh we saw a glimpse of that at the end of the third movie we actually got prior to that though there was a movie we know that existed as not existed but a script that at least existed and storyboard art and it was titled cathedral jeepers keepers cathedral justin long had come out at one point in 2014 or 13 and even admitted that the reason it hadn't happened is because of financial issues budget issues there was all this stuff going on in the 2000s where we were supposed to have it at one point in 2006 i believe then 2006 became 2009 2009 became 2013 and then it was just dead silent ever since ray wise was hyping this up we know it was supposed to be him returning as jack senior teaming up with gina phillips who was supposed to be back as trisha jenner i think the narrative was supposed to have her as some type of wealthy woman i haven't read the cathedral script in a while she would have been back in like a leading role she was supposed to have a son named Derry, who we know she was naming after her brother she lost all those years ago a narrative in which she's fearing that the creeper will come after him so in an effort to destroy that from happening she wants to put an end to the creeper once and for all and not leave a chance like that out there for Derry to just be out one day minding his own business and come across the thing that her and her brother came across 23 years ago and they were unable to stop it in the sense that she was unable to save her brother because we know that she tried to do a very selfless thing by sacrificing herself and the creeper was not up for that i will say this though this is a spoiler if you if you haven't read the cathedral script trisha gets to make up for that though in this cathedral script she actually sacrifices herself or ends up dying so that her her son Derry 
makes it out of the movie alive. So she does get to make up for it in some regard in that way. Maybe that's also why she was hell bent on hunting this thing down all these years later. Because she wanted to at least be able to save somebody that she loved when she couldn't save her brother. Uh, so we have that. And then we know Gina herself had talked about how she was supposed to be in the fourth movie that had already been written. And it was going to dive into what the character had been up to in between the first movie and what happens in the fourth movie, I guess. Everything she's been through, she seemed very giddy about it from what I was reading and how I was interpreting the energy from the words. Uh, and that was going to be what Jeepers Creepers 4 was going to be. It was just a retooling of what Cathedral was going to be. But ultimately, we aren't getting that. Once again, it's a completely different movie. And the last thing again on this topic is, will we ever see her back? Is there a chance she appears in Reborn? I would say, of course, there's a chance. But the chance is, honestly, I would say 0.1%. Gina Phillips being in this movie, the chances of that seem very slim. If she's in the movie, that's a very cool cameo, and that's something I think might be the highlight for a lot of you. But it's also something that's like, oh, you're doing this again. A, a movie in which she appears, let's say it happens at the end again. She's appearing at the end and teasing something that ultimately probably will never happen because we won't get the Jeepers Creepers 5 that many of you want to be the... which that many of you want Jeepers Creepers 4 to be, that many of you also want it to be Jeepers Creepers 3. There's so many different missed opportunities that have happened along over the years with this character of Trisha Jenner and how we were so close to having her back on so many different occasions. We ended up getting her back in a very minor, I would say many of you would think unsatisfactory performance, not performance, but role in the end of the third movie. And Gina Phillips' performance, honestly, I would say also wasn't that great. It felt like she... Given the dialogue she was given and how little screen time she had for what she was working with, I guess it was okay. But also, you obviously would have to say it's weaker than what we saw from her for the majority of the first movie because she had more to work with. So going into the fourth movie, I don't think she's going to appear in Jeepers Creepers Are Born. I would love to see her appear in future movies, but... It all comes back to Victor Salva. He is responsible for one of the biggest missed opportunities in horror in recent memory. Uh, I put that right along with the character of Bagul from Sinister. Th those are some of the two biggest missed opportunities in recent memory for me as it pertains to horror characters and the, the downfall of them and how they were just squandered. Uh, hopefully she'll return in a future movie. I don't think it's going to happen with Be Born, but what do you think? Let me know down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, and never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to my social media accounts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.